Becoming an exemplary model in the field of waste management and simultaneously working as a sports facility, Copenhill is this week's Uncovered project. I'm Luca Kamari and welcome to the seventh episode of Uncovered, a mini-series by Parametric Architecture. We uncover less known and interesting facts about iconic projects in the design world. Located in Ema in Copenhagen, Copenhill is a waste-to-energy plant topped with a ski slope, a hiking trail and a climbing wall. The power plant plays a part in Copenhagen's goal of becoming the world's first carbon-neutral city by 2025, combining an architectural landmark with an urban recreation center. At the top, expert skiers can glide down the artificial ski slope with the same length as an Olympic halfpipe. Skiers reach the top using the platter lift carpet lifts or glass elevator for a glimpse inside the 24-hour operating waste incinerator. With the height of the building's apex being 85 meters, Copenhill is a reference to its bizarre nature. This is because Denmark doesn't really have any hills to speak of. To put things in perspective, the highest peak in Denmark is at 170 meters, which can be considered a molehill, then a mountain. I'm not judging at all. The terrain is made of a synthetic turf known as neveplast, which lets you ski with a coefficient friction equal to snow. Copenhill is a manifestation of architect Bjarke Ingels' hedonistic sustainability, the idea that a sustainable approach can provide a more favorable alternative. To put it simply, sustainable buildings do not only have to be good for the environment, they can be fun too. Skiing while saving the world? I'll take two. From afar, Copenhill appears to be made of metal, but if you look closely, you can see stacked aluminum bricks on the facade, which also double as planters that form a vertical garden. The 10,000 meter square roof park contains 7,000 bushes, carefully landscaped for the microclimate up at 85 meters of altitude. However, some skiers weren't quite pleased when they experienced the Copenhill. Or Copenhell, should I say? Anonymous skiers complained about the surface being too close to ice and texture, which led to a dangerous experience and the price they had to pay, both with their pockets and their injuries. Still, Copenhill symbolizes a desire to reimagine the built environment for future generations and, in turn, bring joy back into our cities. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching and see you on the next episode of Uncovered.